My father's hands look like he picked a fight with steel. He's working three jobs, refuses to see a doctor about his ailing knee, and worries more hours out of the day about his family than he sleeps at night. He's working these three jobs to earn an extra dollar for my education, to take my mother out for meals that he can't afford. My dad spends his life with his arms outstretched, one on the sunrise and one on the sunset, trying to pull them together to make sure that his family has a today and a tomorrow. At night, he delivers medical supplies, takes them to people put in homes by sons and daughters who are caught between hanging on and letting go. And each night, as he drives these dark roads, the men in these places ask him, can I have a ride home? They tell him they don't belong here. That a daughter was going to call that sitting in rooms by themselves, humming to fill the silence or lying in bed like a comfortable hanging is never what they had in mind when they fell in love with life so long ago. And my father smiles and tells me every word is gibberish. This is how we take in our few moments together. We smile, like getting up to watch the sunrise, like never taking our eyes off of the sky so that we can remember before growing older in God, before becoming an adult moves me away from home, before this debt, before this third job, before my dreams and the sacrifice of his. We can remember this blood that is half his and half my mother's that flows through me and gives him fatherhood. We smile because then he has to keep going. His wings unfolding when my tongue is barnacle boxing against my teeth because this world tells us that men cannot tell other men, I love you. As I watch him leave again tonight, his wings broad and shining like two arching sunrise horizons in the night, I cannot manage the gibberish of dying. I cannot tell him what too many sons are saying to too many fathers without thinking or feeling. And I'm watching as my father is breaking and bleeding for my tomorrow. And pops, I'm ready to start singing for everything you've done for me. For every 16-hour day, for every sleepless night, for showing me that some men don't have veins, just hearts that have taken root inside of them for all of these things tonight. Pops, stay a while and smile. I'm bare-knuckled and singing tonight to tell you.